Hi, I'm Paul, electronics designer here at LittleBits, and today we're going to be making an ice skater that glides across a frozen winter pond. In order to do that, we're going to need a few things. Uh, we have some construction paper, some cotton balls, metallic paper or plastic, a shallow cardboard box or shoe box, uh, pipe cleaners, foam balls, and some cardboard. The first step of the process is going to be to make our skater figure. So we have one that we've already cut out. You can see that it's a mirror image. And so how you'll do that is take a piece of paper, fold it in half, and then draw your skater silhouette on one half of the paper and make sure that it's, uh, the hand is connected at the edge of the paper. When we cut it out, you'll be able to fold it over and you'll have an image on both sides. Now that we have our skater figure created, we're gonna move on to the snowman. We'll take one of our foam balls and the backside of a spoon and just kind of scoop out a little bit of the foam. We're gonna have the bright LED inside the snowman. So once we have a little bit of foam dug out, we're gonna do the same thing on the top, but just a little bit and that's where the head's gonna rest, so we get some light up through the body and into the head. So we've made one of these a little bit earlier today. So as you can see, we have the foam head on top of the body, and then we decorated him with some pipe cleaners for buttons and eyes, a little uh, orange pipe cleaner for his uh, carrot nose, little toothpick arms, and then a tape top hat. So now that we've made our characters, we're gonna put these guys aside and then work on our landscape, our frozen pond. So I'm going to start with a shallow box. This is actually a lid to a bigger box. And then a little bit of shiny plastic paper. You can also use tin foil if you have it, or metallic wrapping paper, anything that kind of looks like ice. So we're going to double stick tape this to the top of the box. And then the skater is gonna pivot around the center of this box, so we're gonna poke a hole right in the middle. Because that's where our motor's gonna be, and that's where our skater is going to spin around from. Now that we've completed that, we're gonna move our craft materials to the side and then bring over our bits. So to start with, of course, we're gonna need one of our power bits. We're gonna use that to connect to a wire. The wire is gonna to connect to the motor and that we're gonna mount underneath the ice rink and that's what's gonna make our skater spin around. After the motor bit, we'll take our pulse and connect that. We can adjust the speed of the pulse with our screwdriver and we'll set it for a good comfortable blink. After the pulse, we'll take our wire bit Connect that, and then finally the bright LED. And this will sit underneath the snowman, and we'll take our circuit. You can see we have a nice pulsing bright LED and the motor spinning, so we're all ready to put it into our project. All right, now that we've tested our circuit, we know it works, we're gonna take the motor bit and get that ready to mount it underneath the frozen pond. So we just have a little piece of cardboard here that's gonna be bending at a right angle. And we're gonna tape that underneath. So to mount the motor to the cardboard, just gonna take two rubber bands, one on each side, just twist this over a couple of times. So that's good and secure on one end. And then we're going to take a second rubber band and do the same thing on the other side. So now we've got the motor, attached to the cardboard. We're gonna go ahead and bring our ice rink over and we're gonna tape the motor to the underside. And we're just gonna put that in there, grab a little bit of, in this case, duct tape. And I'm gonna mount this kind of diagonally in the box. So now we've got our motor mounted here. We're gonna go ahead and put the rest of the bits in the system. So. Like we said before, we're gonna start with the power. We're gonna connect that to 
one of our wires that'll go just outside the box. Then on the other side of the motor, we're gonna have the pulse, a wire, and then finally the bright LED. All right, now that we've put our circuit together, we're gonna go ahead and decorate our scene here. Uh, in our case, we use some cotton balls to act as snow, but you can really decorate the scene any way you want. So one of the other things that we did is we used some construction paper. So just a simple tree silhouette with some slots in them and put them together, mount them on a little base. So now that we've given you some ideas on how to decorate your scene, let's take a look at how our scene turned out. So we have our ice skating rink with our trees and our snow, and then a little spot in the front for our snowman. So if you remember our skater from before that we made, we're gonna take him and we're gonna mount him onto the motor. So what we're gonna need to do is, Start by taking a pipe cleaner, and then we're gonna to wanna to measure how far around the motor he's gonna be able to spin without hitting the snow. So we'll just place that near the motor shaft, and then just kinda of estimate, and then just give a little extra space so that we have room to mount it in the actual skater. And then if we take the skater, fold him over, we're gonna put the pipe cleaner in his leg, and glue him shut with the pipe cleaner inside. We're gonna have something like this, a little skater on a stick. So we'll just fold at the foot and place him in the scene. We're gonna pay attention to what direction he's spinning. Just place him down there like that and give him a little test. And there he goes. Just gonna rotate this whole assembly and then we're gonna put our little snowman into the scene. So we have our bright LED in the corner, and we're just gonna plop the snowman on down there, and then let's see what the final scene looks like. Great. Now that you know how to make this winter skating scene, you can go ahead and check out some of our other holiday kit videos, or better yet, make your own and upload them to the Project Gallery. See you later, Bitsters.